Today in our Policies training program, we'll be covering how to perform sales. We're going to click Sales icon over here. Now in this box, we can choose a customer. There is an option to create new customer as well. By default, the customer would be cash. You can hit on the new button in the window and, uh, and in the following window, you can hit on the add button and then create a customer here. You can enter the name, address, mobile phone number, uh, you can set the credit amount, credit days. Again, you can also set bill wise applicable. You can check the boss uh, and uh, set if you want the bill wise applicable. You can hit details and uh, enter more information about the customer in this uh, text boxes. And after you have done that, you can save the customer and it will list uh, in the following window, it will list the customers that are created. Uh, for our example purpose, we're going to select ABC customer. Now we're going to start a, a sales here. We're going to enter the bill details. You can recall the product by entering uh, the first letters of the name. It'll list out the products available and you can select it from that drop down box. And once you have done that, enter the quantity and uh, the discount and any other details that is necessary there. For our example purpose, we are setting the Price as unit price as 150 you can change it over here itself uh, and uh, you can set the product discount uh, in this uh, section however there is another option where you can give discount on the bill itself that's uh, marked here and it's, let's uh, for example it's uh, the price is 304.50 you we want a discount 4.50 you can enter that amount here and uh, the grand total will be 300 now let's consider the the customer is paying by cash you can check the option cash received uh, if the payment is credit you can uncheck and leave the box and save it now let's consider that the party uh, where we did the purchase entry was on credit and they would like to do a partial payment we'll hit on the payment button select the party here uh, supplier one for example now it will show up their balance here uh, we can also get a detailed report once we go into their ledger account. To show their ledger account, hit on ledger, ledger icon on the left hand side. It will uh, give you this window where you can select the supplier or, or the vendor and hit on show. It will show the details of the uh, that particular customer. And you can even get a more detailed report here by uh, selecting on that purchase and it will show the bill related to that purchase. You can edit if required. Now let's uh, consider that uh, we are making a partial payment for that supplier. Uh, we are entering a 500 here. You can enter certain narration if required spe to specify certain transactions or uh, for any references. And once you save that, the details will be available in the below window. You can also use the same window to do multiple transactions. So you can use the same voucher for multiple payments. Now we can check that transaction back in the party's ledger report. Just click on the ledger icon again, select the respective uh, party and show. And uh, you will see the transaction updated in their ledger. Now this is a ledger report, but we do have an option where we can print the statement. Hit on more and statement. Uh, we will get a pre-designed statement. You do also have the option to print in PDF and certain defined formats. Now, in the final part, we will learn how to enter collection in our software, otherwise received. We'll hit on the received icon on the left hand side. This will bring the Receipt window and in this we will select the party or the vendor now the balance for the vendor is 300 and the, uh, the collection is for 150 we'll enter the amount and if required you can enter certain narration and rate and then save it our software helps us to get various reports like sales summary report you can go to inventory report sales and then sales summary this will help you to get a sales summary report. We do also have other options like uh, trial balance report. Uh, 
as well as uh, profit and loss account report go to accounts reports and way down you should have trial balance profit and loss statement and other uh, the balance sheet as well uh, in this section you can hit on uh, each one of them select uh, the defined date and uh, pull up the report